Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel, and today I'll be reading Malta Character Cousiner by me. So let's get into it. Waitro. Waitro loved the days where you could just rest with you, and not worry about anything else. To him, that was more valuable than anything. Being able to be with you, to enjoy the day with you, and not worry about some superficial things that were not really necessary. And most importantly, being able to enjoy those moments where the two of you are quiet. Yes, it needs your presence, but quiet because you didn't need to say anything. You understood each other, and that was what mattered. No words needed to be exchanged between the two of you because your hearts already communicated with the way they beat and sing. And that's how you end up sitting on his lap. Every time the two of you are free, you're cuddling in some way or another. And just so happened that you were sleepier today. This time, he was quite talkative, since he had a lot on his mind, telling you about his day. And how he expects the rest of the week to go. He just needed you to know. So everything could be in order. He knew you did not like surprises. And if you are to be honest, neither did he. But then, he looked down at you. Since he heard nothing from you at all. Why on? Are you... Oh. You are asleep. He smiled softly. Kissing your forehead. He loved it when you were like this. So peaceful. And most importantly, he loved seeing you well rested. He knows you've been stressing out. Trying to catch up with some things. He understands that life can be stressful. But he's glad that in the end, you can get some rest. Because what matters most at the end of the day... Is you and your health. Anything else could be fixed or dealt with. But he would always come first then. First and foremost before anything else. And he hopes one day you can come first for yourself as well. Kakushibu. He noticed how you've been drained lately. And how you've been staying up lately. And he's worried. After all, there are eye bags underneath your eyes. You don't seem to be eating so well, and you seem like you're not smiling much. He does not blame you. Someone who's not sleeping well and not eating well must not have a lot to smile about. But he is there, and as your boyfriend, he should do his best to ensure that there is something to smile about, that there is some energy in your body, and that you're well rested. And that you could eat well. Why on, darling. Whatever you're doing now, you can just get back to it in the morning. No, Kakushibu. It's very important that I finish now. I... I have a lot of things to get done. You don't understand. Are you saying I'm not smart enough to do so? That's not what I said. Then... If you trust me and believe in my own opinion, you'd probably just go rest. Kakushibu, don't put it like that. I will. If it gets you to rest, then I will do anything. He said. At least he was quite honest. And after he let out half a frustration, you just sighed. There is no hope with you, is there? And slowly, you got up. And moved over to him, sitting on his lap while he smiled, letting his hand go through your hair, stroking it gently. Now tell me, what are you working on? It's not really important. It's a project at work and I, I was assigned it because someone else left at the last minute. And I have to finish it now. But that's not your fault. You can't just do that, Wyon. Well, they did. And now I have to put up with it. 
That's not right. You deal with it tomorrow and tell them you won't be taking this. Or I will make them regret it. Needless to say, there was not much talking after that. And he sighed, knowing there was no way around this. He did fall asleep in his lap, but he just did not like someone taking advantage of you and your effort, just because you are a people pleaser, and he'll make sure that does not happen on his watch. Rengaku. Rengaku just loves cuddling with you, and being close to you in any way possible whenever the two of you had the chance. So that means, if you are, well, if you are in a position to be with him, and there is some time, he will definitely carry you and put you down on the slab. It's a little bit startling since he can be quite random, and this time, he was very random about the timing too. You were just looking around for your shirt as you wanted to change from the jacket that you were wearing. But, as you were wandering around the living room, he picked you up in his arms. Hey, hey, put me down. What are you doing? I just miss you right now. Miss me any other time. Come on, I need to get that shirt. I'll get it for you. There is no need to sulk. Now, can we just cuddle for a little bit? He said. And you looked very reluctant. You knew you had some other things to get to. But it was very warm, and you loved the feeling of being in his arms. So after some hesitation, you just sighed, shaking your head. All right. I guess. No harm in pedaling a little bit. You're quite right about that. There's no harm in it. He then gave you a soft kiss on the cheek and watched you as you relaxed further into his arms. And soon enough, you were snoring softly on his chest. He knew. He just had that sensor in him. He would know whenever you needed the rest, and he would make sure you got it. And he was quite satisfied with today, since he succeeded in his mission to make sure that his beautiful partner is getting all the rest she needs.